In a matter of hours, NASA's Atlas V rocket will once again try to launch Boeing's Starliner capsule into orbit as part of its first human crewed mission. Now, this trip to the International Space Station has been plagued by delays, some recent, others that go back years. And Boeing's reputation will be riding along with two American astronauts. Mark Strassman is keeping an eye on the countdown clock for us live this morning from the Kennedy Space Center. Mark, good morning. Good morning. Fingers crossed, right, Anne Marie? Mm -hmm. I mean, this is the third time in the last month that Boeing and NASA have tried to get this launch to happen, and right now uh, it's happening uh, again. I want to show you some live pictures of uh, Launch Pad 41, which is where you'll find the Atlas V rocket, the Starliner capsule on top of it. This will be the focal point for everybody here at uh, Kennedy Space Center today as they try to make history. This will be the first time this has been a crewed mission for this uh, space capsule, uh, a new generation generation spacecraft only the sixth time in NASA's history that NASA has put astronauts onto a brand new space capsule for the first time. You're looking at images now of the crew. That's uh, Butch Wilmore, the commander, and Sonny Williams, the pilot. Um, they uh, have been going through some uh, pre-launch uh, very familiar routines, including putting on their suits and uh, testing the suits, making sure that all is well. Uh, they're going to say their goodbyes to their families. They're going to make a drive to Launch Pad 41 and, and eventually, uh, in the next couple of hours or so, uh, get suited up, uh, I'm sorry, get strapped in, because they're already suited up, they're going to get strapped in inside the capsule. This is a big moment for everybody involved, obviously for these astronauts, but also for Boeing, uh, also for NASA. Uh, they've been trying to make this work um, for a long time now. Boeing is seven years behind schedule. It is more than a billion dollars over budget. Uh, they have been working very hard to try to become NASA's second option as a space taxi to the space station. Uh, we've all watched the uh, SpaceX launches, uh, a series of successful launches. Uh, SpaceX has put 50 people into orbit. Uh, so far, Boeing has put no one into orbit. And they're hoping today, Anne-Marie, that this is the start of a, uh, the turnaround and the start of a new era for Boeing as a viable second option for NASA. Back to you. Yeah, we'll be watching, Mark, just for 11 o'clock today. Thank you.